everyone. I have completed three coloring books so far in my coloring journey and today I thought I would feature this one here. Uh, it's called The Art of Mindfulness, Peace and Calm Coloring. This is by <sighs> Lark out of New York. Whoops. Um, but it's Michael O'Mara and uh, they, they, I've heard some people call him mom <laughs> because of his initials there, but he does, he's got several of these. Uh, they, they, I found this book at the Dollar Tree and I had bought five of them, five different ones. I thought there was only six, but then upon research, I found more. So it's either seven or eight, um, if you look it up, but I fell in love with this book. In fact... It almost became like a journal to me. Like I would stuff stuff in there and write little quotes and uh, write little things. So I really loved this book and I hated to finish it, but yet I was happy to finish it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I just want to say before I flip, you know, these are the, this was the type of book that I would just sit in front of the TV and color. So there's not going to be, you know, anything very terrifically colored in here or you know spectacularly colored in here it's just going to be you know something that I I just and really enjoyed when I got this book I started working with Crayola twistable pencils and I love twistable pencils I have a review and a bunch of stuff about them on my other channel and if I can figure out how to flip videos over I'm going to uh, post that so that you guys can can see it because I had some tips about them um, but you know they are basically a uh, straight coloring coyote pencil um, you can do some layering they don't mix well but you can layer so there's a lot in this book that you're gonna see that is uh, Crayola twistables on this page I did I didn't like it so I kind of blocked it out with circles and then just uh, watercolored inside the circles and then covered it up with this is a funny, like weird picture that I found. And um, it's like she's crawling towards the house and it says, did someone say picnic? Yeah, it's just my strange sense of humor. <laughs> um, yeah, so more twistables. Again, when you don't like a, a picture that much and you don't want to do a bunch to it, you don't really have to. Like I just filled this in with I was using gel crayons. This was during my gel crayon phase, I think, and then I covered it with some glitter glue, I believe. And this was done in uh, Crayola Twistables. So you can, you can layer somewhat. Um, there's a girl that made a video that she, uh, and she's an artist, and she made a video about Crayola Twistables. It is so fantastic. What that girl can do with Twistables blows my mind. This one here was done in watercolor, just watercolor. I never went back and did anything more with pencil. I just, like I said, I enjoyed just the freedom of doing whatever I wanted in this book. The paper is not too bad, but for some reason, markers will show through the other side. And then I found a quote that I liked, so I just put that there. Some of my pages are just complete crap in here because this was like, I said I used it almost as a journal, um, a way to just kind of get my feelings out or work through something in my mind that was bothering me. I would take this book out and I would just pick up something, anything, and start using it to fill in the pages. And I would feel so much better when I was done. So that is really the true, uh, you know, in my opinion, the true purpose of adult coloring books, what they were made for, um, as far as the medit meditative um, usage of them and the stress relieving usage of them. So I highly suggest, you know, having a book that you feel comfortable to just put anything down. You know, if you don't ever want to show it to anyone, you don't have to. Um, but like this book is a treasure to me because like I can look at these some of these pages that are done and I can remember like what I was actually going through or thinking at the time what was happening in my life um, when all I was using this book my brother got deathly ill and uh, it was a big big kind of 
Oh, here's one where I cut out a figure from another coloring book and pasted her over the page. So that's another cool thing to do. And then I just did her clothing in uh, Sharpie. But um, anyway, my brother was going through some really major medical things and we had to figure out how to get all the way across country to where he was at. And it was really super stressful. So on this page, this, this page, this side bled through to this side and it was a mess like as you can see so i just went over this with some oil pastels just smeared them all on there i covered it up with a picture of my grandson and some washi tape and you know it's not it's not going to go in a museum but it's still something meaningful to me and that's the biggest in my opinion you know the most important thing i think everybody enjoys showing what they've done in their books how beautiful they are but really it's about how it makes you feel you know the relief you get now this page um, I did I put some Tim Holtz distress stains on and they didn't work out at all on here and made a big mess so I cut a window out and put a piece of plastic in you can see there it's taped on the other side and made a window so that you could see her because I really did like her I thought she she was pretty so that's an idea that you can do with pages that you're not crazy about. You can always remove them too. This page, um, this elephant reminded me of the song Africa, you know? And somebody's remade that song just recently or not too long ago, so I think that's kind of strange how I was thinking about that song like a year ago because this is, uh, when is this? Here we go. Just almost, almost a year ago. Or a little over a year ago so yeah that's kind of weird but yeah I mean use all your space up however you want to use it journal in it write song lyrics whatever you know this this mess here is I think I believe crayons but my grandson likes to come over and color with me and this is a book I would let him color in we would color together um, it didn't have to be anything special it, it was just you know to enjoy so like I said I bought uh, I think five in total of this type of book and I um, gave one to my daughter and then I did this one so I have three more left to to use in the same type of way which I really look forward to um, this book just it just ended up really meaning a lot to me for some strange reason it was like a comfort thing like I would take it wherever I was going uh, appointments plane when I would go on the plane when I was going on the plane to go to California to see my brother uh, hospital rooms yeah this was um I didn't really want to do a lot with this page and then this was a picture of uh came off a CD an old CD cover art he's holding like a crystal ball and I don't know <laughs> makes no sense it doesn't have to this page I didn't want to do and so I found these two photos of this man and this woman she's obviously pregnant and I just made a little collage it says some things take longer to create <laughs> like life um, and then other times I would like challenge myself by just picking a few different random colors and then doing my whole like colors that I might not particularly like that much. I'm not a big fan of yellow. I'm not a too too big of a fan of the mid tones of blue. Um, but it's fun to see what you can create, what you can come up with, how you can take something you don't care for and make it into something that you might actually really like looking at. This one is the only one in the book I think that I did not finish. By the time you get so far into the book like you're pretty sick of looking at it um, this one was my grandson's artwork as I said it becomes dear to you in one way um, but then it also becomes like oh my god I don't want to color anything else in here I think these are watercolors so yeah um, what guys what books have you completed and what was your experience in them is every page something that you know you planned out doing 
or was it like this a lot of experimental things this page I didn't want to color it just seemed too tedious to go in between all these tiny lines and color so I just sort of did a wash with my watercolors like I said before I wasn't too I'm not too crazy about the mid-tones of blue so I decided to just color a whole picture with them and it, it was I didn't mind it at all this one has some metallics to it. I thought that one came out pretty good. This one, you know, was one of those, oh my god, I don't want to color this. Let me just get it over with. <laughs> oh, here's a note for my mom. It happened to be at that time of the year. Stuck it in the book. I'm not really a big fan of coloring flowers. It seems like endless circle shapes. But, you know, this was a book I had decided I wanted to complete. I was going to color everything, bound and determined to do it. So that included flowers. And it can become such a mindless thing when you're sitting and watching TV uh, that you don't really mind, you know, that it's flowers. It's just a shape after all when you come down to it. And it's more or less the... Um, repetitive motion that we're that we're trying to use to help us in a therapy type of a way so I like this one I like this purple background I think that came out really good yeah this one you know I just wanted to get it done pick two colors and went for it these are crayons more flowers and well, like with this one you know you don't have to do every bit of the background just pick out the shape how you think it looks the best and go for it. Teapots. This is more watercolor. I think this is when I first got the Windsor and Newton and I wasn't, you know, really adept yet at how thick to put it on and so forth. This, this is markers. This is Marco Rafine pencils. This looks like Crayola uh, Twistables. This is Twistables. This is a variety of things. There's some Jelly Roll gel pens in here and pencil work. This one is done in Twistables and I really like this one. I think the green and the pink together. The brown offsetting it makes the design really pop. This one is also twistables. Now this one is markers and uh, markers don't, you can, you can see through, you know, if you're going to do the background, it's not going to matter, but you will get some shadowing and stuff if you use even super tips in this book. If you have these books, then you might know what I'm talking about. This was getting close to Christmas, so I decided to do all of these in Christmassy colors. Oh, it says... September. Maybe I was just in a Christmassy mood. This one was done in watercolor. And there's my fishes. And that is it. So, um, I hope you guys liked my flip. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the box below. And once again, I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to click on my video and watch it.